So earlier today, Marvel released a teaser trailer for their upcoming Eternals movie. I really don't know very much about the Eternals. I've never really read these comics. I don't even think I've seen these characters around very much. But as Kevin Feige has admitted, it doesn't really matter if the characters are popular in the comics. I mean, nobody was talking about Guardians of the Galaxy before the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Then that movie came out and the characters were boosted up in popularity. Maybe this movie can do it, but somehow I doubt it. One thing that was cool about Guardians of the Galaxy is the way they looked. They were so different from each other. It just looked like a fun space movie with comic book characters. This just looks boring. I got to tell you, this trailer was boring. And I'm not the only one that that feels this way. Everybody on the internet is mocking it. And I'm going to get to that. But first off, my thoughts on this trailer. Number one, they're obviously going with some ancient astronaut stuff. The costumes are boring. What a terrible design. Am I the only one that thinks all of these costumes are ugly? Also, who is the villain? What is the villain? You didn't even tease or touch on that. So basically, they've just been around and just haven't cared. They're like, oh, we've never interfered. Yet, you know, you helped build civilizations. But where were you when Thanos snapped away half of the galaxy? But I guess none of this matters. Maybe there's a reason for it that I don't know that's in the comics. Like I said, don't know very much about the Eternals. Don't really care because I... I just, they're just not really my thing. I've always been into a lot of the ground level superheroes. But anyway, a a lot of people are bringing these criticisms up that I just went over. Uh, The big problem for Marvel going forward is when you introduce new characters, it's like, well, where have they been? And the Eternals, you know, they, they claim to have been around since the beginning, but where have they been? Uh, The one joke that was going around that even had people talking, Captain Rogers was trending on Twitter, I saw, and said, well, who's going to lead the Avengers? And of course, everybody was, well, Sam Wilson will lead them. By the way, I wouldn't count on that as long as Brie Larson is around. They've already said they want her to be the face, but then they (laughs) they remove her from her own sequel and backseat her to new. To new characters also by the way this movie is going to have problems because it's looking like it might have a hard time getting published in china which i think is very very funny and this of course has to do with their director which i've talked about in previous videos so a lot of the comments are, are roasting which i think are funny here's one right here half of all life gets wiped out by thanos the eternals we missed the part where that's our problem And then you've got them being side-eyed. Eternals, we are centuries old heroes. We are centuries old heroes who love humanity. So that's Hitler. Hi, Eternals. Carry on, sir. We have no quarrel with you. Another one here from the Canadian lad. Throughout the years, we have never interfered until now. And then it says, I swear to God, if X-Men repeats a similar line, I'm going to lose it. Uh, That's another problem. That, That is true. So... How are you going to introduce the X-Men? The Fantastic Four is going to have this problem, though. I guess they could just give them an origin story and have them appear as they are. But what about Reed Richards? Like, Reed Richards Richards was still a smart dude. Same with Doctor Doom. Like, it's crazy that they wouldn't have been referenced by now. It would almost be better if the MC would just reboot. But they're not going to do that. They're going to go forward. By the time that they would think to do that, that'll be the last phase of the comic book movies. What will happen is, you know, the MCU is going to tank. And I, and, I, and I do think it will over time, probably over a couple of years, because people just are going to lose interest because, well, the new superhero is an activist, not a soldier warrior. This comes from people that works for him. And I think people are going to get sick of that and they're going to tune out and then they'll reboot and bring back all of the characters everybody loves and be able to introduce the X-Men and all the other characters right from the start. But by the time you get to that point, uh, it's not going to matter because, well, no one's going to care. And then that'll be the end of the movie, the, the superhero movies. 
And it's coming for sure. J.J. Abrams is going to help accelerate that, by the way. Eternals, when they first arrive on Earth, isn't it beautiful? Eternals, after thousands of years of getting to know humanity, not our effing problem. Uh, throughout the years, we have never interfered except for literally all those times you helped them build civilization. That's true. They say that in the trailer. Thanos destroying the Avengers facilities, the Eternals, we should watch another. Should we watch another episode of Netflix or what? Inter Thanos snaps Eternals, begins warm up. Doctor Strange, no Eternals, okay. Literally, anyone, anytime the world is in danger, the Eternals, we sleep. Uh, literally wiping out half the universe by Thanos, and then the Eternals, loud popcorn noises. We have never interfered until now. They did interfere when half of the universe got wiped out of existence, but now they do. But now they do. What could be more important? And that's the truth. That's a true statement. What could be more important than Thanos for them to interfere right now? What villain is going to step up? And, you know, the way they've handled villains over the past couple of, like, you know, movies. Baron Zemo was good. Thanos was good. But if you think about it, Marvel does have a villain problem in a lot of their movies. The villain is just kind of underwhelming. They're just kind of there to fill space. And you better have a good villain. You better have a damn good villain for these people to have needed to sit on the sidelines and then all of a sudden pop up and get involved. When, you've pl when you're playing them as not getting involved purposely. Like, okay, well, it, this better be some high-level Thanos threat for them to come out of uh, retirement or whatever the hell they've been doing. Anyway, uh, I'm not excited for this movie. I think this movie is is going to be really, really dull. I just, it looks dull. The background and the locations look plain. I just, I just don't know if I care. Do you care? I don't know. Let me hear. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.